Today we're gonna to be working on some cement DIYs. I know it's not your typical medium, but I thought why not cement? Especially after I worked on our bodega door with my honey. Super fun. Before we start, coffee is long! As you can see, I already have my big container here to mix up my cement. These gloves, very important. Equally important is to wear a dust mask. As I always tell my friends, better safe than pregnant. I am done for the day. <laughs> Mistake number one, I made too much cement. Now, not only did that take up too much of my time, and if it's a lot of cement and water, it's harder to mix. So that's tiring, number one. Number two, you're not gonna be able to make your crafts fast enough to consume all of the cement that you made, so they're gonna dry up. So I had to discard some cement. Mistake number two, I didn't prep first. Loser. So while I was prepping my mold, my cement was drying. By the way, I used cement that you normally use like when you need to fix something around the house. For crafts, there is such a thing as quick dry cement and that would be better, but I don't have that. Let's just see what happens with my projects. I'm gonna give it a bit of time to dry. Um, it's called curing. So let's let it cure and then we'll check on it in maybe 24 hours. I just wanna tell you guys, don't wash your hands in the sink if you've got any cement on yourself or on your hands and don't wash away whatever cement you have. Like, like I'm like putting all the cement together and I'm gonna put it in this bag which I had ready because remember, cement dries. So you don't want that clogging up the sink. If you want it to be super strong, soak it in water for a few days and it should make your cement project stronger. And of course, as you see, I was wearing my face mask when I was sanding, don't forget. Now look at all the mess I made. <laughs> you know what this means. It's cleanup time. <laughs> we have a cleanup volunteer. My cleanup crew, yay. Yeah. Cleanup crew, cleanup crew, cleanup crew. Oh my baby, you're so sweet. My malungai leaves have all fallen into the water. They're looking really good. They're looking really strong. I removed my cement projects from the water and they're now on a table dry. Make sure that your cement projects aren't directly under sunlight because they're going to crack. My projects are dry, which means I can start painting them. I'm so excited. Oh, wow, it's raining. <laughs> I love the rain. But I have to warn you that when it's humid, it takes a while longer for your paint to dry, okay? So you have to be very patient when you have this kind of weather. But anyway, I've got my echo paints ready. The first thing that we're gonna paint right now is my incense holder. As you can see, the sides, it's very smooth, ready for painting. And the top, really small tones to make it look really pretty. I've decided that we're gonna use gold for this piece. And then once that's done, we're gonna let it dry. When it's dry, then we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna paint the top with all the pretty stones. Yay! So I'm done with this small indent holder and I still have paint left. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint this bigger one. So for this design, I think it's really nice to use gold. Golden. This is just gonna be a little container where you can put your small stuff, you know, like rings or maybe even clips or you can put potpourri inside or a candle, anything really, it's up to you. That's gonna be a really beautiful golden color. That's where you put your incense and then the ash is gonna fall into this hole in the middle. Orange is one of my favorite colors. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, it's too dark, so we're just gonna put a little bit of this. I love the orange. Anyway, this one is gonna be a pretty blue. I'm gonna put on some little pretty pearls on there, some stuff to make it all dainty and pretty. Yay! So we're just gonna wait for these to dry. Check it out. 
pretty. I have this other project. I'm not gonna paint this. I like it as it is. I think it's really pretty this way. It looks really authentic. Some plants in the middle, just a small plant, maybe a succulent. It's gonna be so pretty. I can't say I'm completely happy with the way my paint job turned out. The golden ones, super pretty, super, super pretty. Like, like, look at how nice that is. Yay! But the orange and blue ones are ugly ducklings, not so pretty. I'm not very happy with that. We gotta do something about it. The paints that I used are all the same brand, okay? But my honey said that maybe because the golden one is metallic, then it covers more pores, pores? I don't know. I'm going to add a thicker coat of these two mixtures, maybe because I mixed it with water and it's not really thick, and that's why it doesn't look too nice. Now the blue one, I'm gonna add silver to that. Excited! I put my second coating of um, gold. At first, I tried it without any water, and I found that it was too thick. So metallic color really works better if you add water. We're done with our second coat of paint and I am so happy. It turned out way better than I ever expected. So the gold, oh that's expected, it's really pretty. But our ugly ducklings, no longer ugly ducklings. I mean look at this orange. This was the orange that I wanted. The first coat was super dark and now I added more yellow. And oh my god, a thicker coat of paint, so pretty. The blue, <laughs> I mean the blue was so ugly and now with the added metallic silver color, it is like pearl blue. It is so pretty. You guys are gonna love the finished product. The paint is dry, but we're not done yet. We've only painted the outer portion of our project. So now we're gonna paint inside. Now how do you prevent yourself from painting the parts that should not be painted? Masking tape is your friend. So you're gonna cover the portions that you don't want to paint with masking tape. I took out the masking tape too late. So I would recommend that around five minutes after you paint your project, take out the masking tape already because acrylic paint dries really fast and it's going to bond itself with the tape. You see that part there? There. The paint at the edge got out. I'm just gonna retouch and it should be fine. Now we wait another 24 hours to allow it to dry. It's a waiting game. It's time to put on a finish for your products. You can use either a matte finish or a gloss finish. And I have my pearls and some little shells in here, which we're gonna use to decorate this blue container. All right, so when you're putting your finish, what you're gonna be using is a foam brush. You can buy this at any craft store or online. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy making your own cement products. Don't forget to like and subscribe and watch out for my next video.